Hi, Dr. Rob, Facebook Live, Female Fertility Protocol. Uh, I've been lecturing all over the, the country uh, the last few weeks, really been exciting, and I can tell you so many doctors were happy they was able to share this protocol with them, and I want to share it with you. So let's talk about it. Number one, when you talk about the inability or uh, somebody's need to help in fertility, make sure there's no blame. Uh, we're only talking about the female in this Facebook Live. There is a male protocol. We can do that at a later date. So do me a favor. If you have any questions, write them down. I got Joanne right there. She's raring to go. Like, share, comment, ask a question. Let's get this going. Let's share this out. These are some really good protocols that are implementable for any doctor watching and for all the other patients. Again, I know it's a little personal. So don't feel, be afraid to ask a question, but if it's one that you don't want to ask where Joanne can read, direct message me. She just gave me a big smile, so she, that means I did something good. Nevertheless, let's take a look at the lifestyle protocol. Number one, let's limit processed foods. Let's always adhere to my GPS. No gluten, no processed foods, no sugar. No processed foods, um, you know, anything that you open, don't be manipulated. Uh, Watch those things, and the reason is they're very high in sugar, there's a lot of chemicals, and as we go through this process, you'll understand that's not where you want to be. In addition, avoid trans fats, no donuts. So fat is your friend, it's not your foe. But trans fats are very deleterious to your health. Eat unsaturated fats. Let's go with the poly, the, mono the monounsaturated. So we want plant fats. We want nut fats. We do want some fish fats. We do want, and we'll allow for saturated fats, coconut. Great fat, MCT oil, great saturated fats. Eat proteins from plants and beans. Uh, the plants and bean protein are excellent. They're very alkaline. There's not a lot uh, typically uh, organic. No red meats. Now, let me give a caveat with the red meat. Of course, you can have your organic grass-fed meats. Those are fine. But we want to avoid the red meats because typically they're, coined, they're corn and soy fed. They're full of arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is your pathway to inflammation. So the overall theme to aid in the female fertility protocol is to keep the sugar down, keep the woman's body weight down, keep the inflammation down, and get rid of a lot of heavy metals. If you do that, you can have a much better chance of naturally getting pregnant. Um, and the body weight's a critical element also uh, because one, the insurance is probably going to pay for a woman to be under a 30 BMI. They do BMI, they don't do body composition. Folic acid and iron. Look for foods that are high in folic acid and iron, which goes right back to your uh, plant proteins and the such. Avoid sugary drinks, limit caffeine. So if you're going to have coffee, which is fine, or tea, make sure you drink the decaffeinated version of coffee. You want to avoid a sugary drink, like a frappuccino. Garbage. Have your java. Enjoy. Go for it. Just not three, four, or five cups. Um, avoid your Gatorades. Avoid your sodas. Both diet and regular sodas. Uh, regular soda is full of sugar. Diet soda is really full of um, artificial sweeteners. Those artificial sweeteners are extraordinarily hazardous to your health. They damage your gut. Gut damage is going to lead you down a path of inflammation, not going to enable you to be uh, able to get pregnant as quickly. Proper BMI alluded to that. For me, really, it's body composition. We want to keep the woman's body fat below 30. We'd love to get her between 20 and 25. Uh, the leaner, the easier uh, fat is... Um, as, uh, depositories for toxins. There's a lot of toxins when we have fat cells. The less space that we have, the smaller the fat cells, the thinner we are, the less toxins that we're storing. Hence, the less inflamed we are. Uh, the idea, get pregnant easier. Exercise. We all should be exercising. Exercise, movement's the key to life. Let's get moving. So when you really look at this, it is a lifestyle. It's exercise. It's a proper diet. And of course, the one thing I didn't put up there is sleep. Sleep is recovery. Sleep is the overlooked thing. If you guys want any tips on sleep or a mattress, you know, reach out. I'll give you a great idea. Um, we're really implementing a lot of sleep protocols now. It's changing people's lives because sleep matters. So we have all the lifestyle changes. Let's look at the supplemental protocols. Number one, I love the 10-day detox because I want to detox. The literature really dictates that women have difficulty getting um, pregnant because of heavy metals. They've seen studies in vivo and in vitro um, that heavy metals like BPA have chronologically aged 
women's eggs. So if a woman is 35 and she's trying to have a child for the first time, her egg may be chronologically 45. That poses an issue because that's a little older on the scale of uh, the pregnancy scale. So we want to get rid of heavy metals. The best way to get rid of heavy metals is to do a detox program. So most people's liver work on the concept of phase one and phase two. There's fat soluble toxins coming into the liver. It's not a detox talk. We can do that at another time. We want it to get through the liver in an efficient manner to become a water soluble toxin. Unfortunately, when you split the liver in half, so metaphorically, I'm going to use my hands. In phase one is elevated, typically in most Americans, and phase two is decreased. You want to bifunctionally modulate the liver, phase one and phase two, to enable the body to break down these toxins and get them out of the liver. So specific nutrients, which are in my 10-day detox, which is in the medical food powder, they're going to bifunctionally modulate to enable you to stimulate the enzymatic reactions and reactions that are needed. A little FYI, do not starve on a detox, you still have to eat. Don't go zero protein, you still have to eat. Now when you're able to by functionally modulate the liver, FYI, did you guys know that estrogen is detoxed in the liver? So think of too much or too little floating estrogen, how that may affect your ability to get pregnant. Obviously not where you want to be, you want the woman's hormones to be proper. In addition, when you break it down, there's nutrients that are going to help you take that water-soluble toxin from the liver to the kidney. You want a high pH. So that's why those plant-based green vegetables really come in. In addition, there's an ingredient called potassium citrate. Potassium citrate takes and enables you to flow efficiently. They use that a lot in um, hospitals to take that toxin to the liver for you to dispose of it. In addition, a lot of times toxins uh, are pooped out, so you want to make sure you, you'll see that we, I recommend a probiotic. The probiotic will ensure that that will occur. In addition, you want to, uh, that is a 10-day detox. That's called a clear change kit. Anybody interested in a clear change kit, please reach out to me. In addition to a clear change kit, it's 10 days, you get a medical food, it'll give you a diet to follow, just like this, it gives you also a pill called AdvaClear. That AdvaClear is great because it will ensure that the liver are functioning. So you get a medical food, AdvaClear, um, you get a shaker, and you also get um, a diet to follow. In addition, add the probiotic, and you're now on a detox plan. The other thing you want to ensure is to decrease your blood sugar and stabilize it. So I recommend um, something called Incinase and uh, that has specific nutrients to help stabilize your blood sugar because it positively affects the signaling of cells. In addition to that, I like alpha-lipoic acid. Alpha-lipoic acid is the only thing that works with the watery and the fat part of the cell, once again to help with blood sugar. And finally, phyto multivitamin, multimineral, specific nutrients that the woman needs to have all our systems work efficiently. So in review, number one, female fertility pro uh, protocol, let's do lifestyle, let's limit the processed foods, avoid trans fats, eat more unsaturated fats, eat quality proteins, avoid crappy red meats, plants, beans, grass-fed beef, not as much fish as we want. Fish is high in mercury and a lot of toxins unless it's a smash fish, which is salmon, mackerel, um, anchovies, sardines, and herring. Make sure everything's high, your, green, your beans and your plants. Folic acid and iron, avoid your sugary drinks, limit your caffeine, make sure your body composition is good. Exercise, your 10-day clear change kit works fabulously and make sure you take an incinase, alpha lipoic acid, and a phytomulti. You do that, you'll shrink up, blood sugar will modulate down, you'll get rid of your heavy metals. It's something I use. I've got a lot of fertility medical doctors that are looking for natural alternatives to help either do it as, if you will, in vivo and in vitro. Did we hit any questions or we just... I have no questions. So no far. questions, that's all right. Like, click, share, comment, Let's get this going. We'll be back uh, next week, Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Hey, guys, I got an Instagram. We're doing a lot of Instagram work. Like my Instagram, Dr. Robert Silverman. Dr. Rob, always yours in health. Actually, before we oh. go, we do have one question. Uh, so does chiropractic care help as well? So we can in, in, with all this, should we do chiro as well or 
what 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 an opening question uh absolutely i mean everybody knows i'm not a philosophical chiropractor that's not negative i use nutrition i use modalities we're all chiropractors and i believe the chiropractor is the doctor the integrative doctor the functional doctor of the 21st century and now so with that being said absolutely good quality chiropractic care is going to help um you know, I, I was told in uh, chiropractic school, this is 20 years ago, that are you healthier with or without a subluxation or restriction? You're healthier without it. So absolutely, a lot of people go to the chiropractors to aid in pregnancy. A lot of them go to the chiropractors while they're pregnant. A lot of people recommend without question and adjust the child right away. Day one, minute one, women one, this and that. So absolutely, I was doing a nutritional protocol, but you definitely need to incorporate chiropractic. Great. Do we get another one? Uh, no, that looks like, I think that's it. We are, thumbs up? Okay, like, click and share, Dr. Rob, always heroes in health.